we don't use a whip like we use a dressage whip. You tend to use it, leave it in your dominant hand. With your right hand, it's your right hand. And we need to be able to put the reins in one hand, so you do a simple bridge. And with your whip, you use it behind the leg. And then you put your hands back into two reins again. So we call this reins, whip, reins. And we use it behind our leg to reinforce our natural aid. So the whip's an artificial aid, so it's a spur, but you don't have a spur on. So if we're going to use the whip, so try it as I show you. Reins in one hand, and then don't hit him, but just lay it behind your leg. Can you see where she's laying? Just there. Behind your leg, and then smoothly back to two hands. And we call it reins, whip, reins. Now the important part when you do this, Mel, is that you look straight ahead. So let me see you do, <laughs> I'll test your eyes. <laughs> so keep your eyes ahead and rain, whip, rain. Good. Once more. Rain, whip, rain. Very good. So if he's not responding to your leg aid, you're going to reinforce or refresh them with your whip. And you're not going to look down as you do it. And you, don't, and you keep your hand with the one, reins in one hand still. So this is a skill you actually have to practice so you can do it safely and quickly. Mm -hmm. okay. That's how we use the whip. And you generally leave it in one hand, one uh, hand. Okay. The, the dominant hand. Right. Okay.